Hi, I'm Dan from Update My Dynaco and Akatika LLC. And today we're going to talk about measuring resistors. And it's an illustration of a problem that I sometimes get an email about. So the usual way we'll measure a resistor is we get our digital multimeter and we set it to ohms. And then what you'll see people do is they grab the resistor and they put their hands across the resistor and hold on to the resistor on both sides and measure its value. And it says it's about 200 ohms. And it turns out that I pulled that from a bag that said 200 ohms. So well, this is pretty good. All right, life is good. Now we grab another resistor and we're going to measure it. This resistor was from a bag that said 3.01 meg ohms. Let's try and measure it in the same way and see what happens. So here it is. We've taken our resistor and we've got our lovely fingers and we put it across. And let's read what the meter says. The meter thinks that this resistor is 1.27 meg ohms, but we said it's supposed to be 3 megs. Now this is about the time when I get an email from somebody saying, Dan, I think you put the wrong resistor in the kit. I measured the resistor and it's only a meg and a half or so. Wow, that's off. All those other resistors were so close. What's going on? Well, it turns out that when you measure it like this, with your fingers across it, it turns out that the resistance of your body is in parallel with the resistor that you read. And if the resistor has a pretty high value, then your body resistance makes a big difference to the reading. Let's see how much. Now what I'm going to do is just measure the resistance of my body. I'm going to press both thumbs to both of the probes and see what the meter says. And there we see that the meter says that just my body is about two and a half meg ohms. So what's happening is I'm getting my body at two and a half meg ohms in parallel with a resistor of three meg ohms. And that's enough to make a huge difference. So let's show the better way to measure high resistance resistors. The idea is we take the resistor and we put it down on something that is guaranteed to be non-conducting. A paper envelope would be a good thing. Maybe your bench top, depending on what it's made of. So come on here and take a close up and We'll look at the measurement technique and also the value of the resistor. As we are now measuring the resistor in kind of a more blameless fashion. And what we've got is a reading of about 2.97 meg ohms, which is very close to the 3.01 meg ohms that this resistor is advertised to be. So the summary of this is when you're measuring high value resistors or really any resistor, if you'd like to be accurate, Keep your fingers off the probes. Only contact the resistor leads. This is Dan from Update My Dynaco in Akatika. We'll see you next time.